Hello, boys and girls, and welcome to another draft with me, Wickrow. And, um, yeah, Wickrow, yes. Uh, <laughs> and we open a pretty mediocre pack overall. I mean, blue seems to be strong. We have the Deceiver, Axok, and the Spy on at all, uh, as well as the Blinding Soul Leader. Uh, Pristine Talisman, always good. Um, you should always pick it pretty much since it's um, the whole block is a very sort of long. Uh, it, the games turn out to be pretty long, so the Talisman um, sustains you very well. And yeah, but I'm looking at either the Axok or the Monitor here, and I feel like. Picking the X arc since um, um, so we we have a such a priest a chain throat seeker and level talisman. Uh, the Tenadon is pretty fine too, but I don't feel like paying for life or something like this. Um, we could take the throat seeker, but we haven't seen any in fact yet. Um, I like the Sutra Priest, I'm not too sure about that one, um, but we'll take it for now, it's actually very underrated. Ay ay ay, oh, got a Blighted Agent, and another Spy Monitor. Um, my last, I won my last draft pretty much only through blighted agents and a lot of equipment and I'd be happy if I could do it again I mean it's really worth it we got an alloy mirror keeps us open but it seems the blue is still very much open so we'll take this guy he's really strong um, I guess we could take the spine thopter now um, nothing too exciting here Make it row to white blue aggro, sort of. Yeah, maybe we're lucky in the chain throat seeker, seeker with table. Oh, there is a remember the fallen. Um, very strong, very strong guard. I mean, you get like two guys back, uh, creature and artifact. So, yeah, oh, thank you. Just need to get some bombs later on, but I'm Confident enough, this will happen. Again, the Tenadon is really strong uh, in the aspect that you can play it in any game, but first you have to pay for life, and then they always have some kind of removal spell, and then you're just. I just lost for, lost for life. Err. <laughs> That's why I don't believe too much into it. Um, only when the table's late, uh, I would snatch it up, but not really early on. <sighs> well, we have seen two spy monitors, so. Oh, there's the throat seeker. Mm. Throat Seeker and Paler Shrike. A Throat Seeker would go good with the agent and sort of it's a less it's less commitment. There are three cards. Um, uh, we have seen one in pack one though. Uh, I'm not too sure now. Um, I'll pick this one. Oh, number one. Uh, sure. Can't attack, but well, can still block. Let's 
Sadly, no more blighted agents, only got one. Another one. Um, yeah, let's take the mutagenic growth. Which is weird that it takes it so late. Um, really strong. Co okay, now let's take the talisman. As I said, uh, it usually we. Uh, yeah, it's really, really strong. Uh, people undervaluated. I mean, you get life each turn and in these long limited games that's a lot actually uh, helped me through a lot of um, pretty close games pretty much was the, the fact that I didn't die soon enough and had enough time to draw my bombs my late game bombs and steamroll that like if the board is like really really stalled and you can just qu uh, slowly stabilize your life total and yeah, there's another trade food secret. <laughs> oh god. Uh, let's take. That's kind of weird. Um, we don't need a, a third one. Let's take a soul eater. Sadly, no more white, but we haven't seen that much white at all. In, in these packs, um, there was the uh, blinding soul leader in pack one, but usually you don't take it un unless you are actually are in white because um, well, we are we haven't really decided on white yet. Minecraft. That's stupid, that's stupid, that's stupid, yeah, let's take a Hulk. <sighs> Guess we could've... Oh, Mirror's good. Oh, is very good, actually. Um, take um, the Spire Monitor. Instead of the Throat Seeker. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm collecting land, so I'm taking the land. Yeah, pretty cool, actually. But he's an ex Oh, okay. Why not? I mean, if we get uh, some kind, like... Yeah, sure, why not? I mean, you get a line. And, yeah, weird at the table. And you can always get, like, big picker you know this wellspring and the make us this wellspring and yeah I mean why not uh, you get a lie so what do we get now I hope a bomb come on give me something cool oh a uh, red sun zenith oof fangren marauder blight widow uh, we can't, we can't let this table, no, we can't, Treasure Mage is very fine too, uh, we all know what happened during the Pro Tour, <laughs> uh, Marvel Plunder, fine, Blind Widow is very strong as defensive card, a Marauder, uh, we could always expect, well, not, maybe the not Marauder, but he's become less popular, and, um, Sort of, yeah. The thing about him is, is he's really strong. You can play him any deck since you can just splash for him. But uh, I don't want to get away. I mean, it's like an infinite burn spell since it always gets into your deck. Um, it's splashable. 
Uh, we got oh, we get a Lumigrate Gargoyle, another Blight Widow. Uh, we... Hmm, well, it's... well, we are kind of aggro y. Uh, let's see. Find top, we get a lot of flyers. Don't have any late game. Yeah, let's. Foil into the core. Um, okay, our second color is <laughs> red. Uh, ooh, a rat wolf, but no, we're red. We take the foil into the core. Though you gotta, uh, you, um, turn the tight infuser. I'm looking at these now. Um, Let's take well. Sea sabotage is, is cheap. Um, Pure cost is good too, but we're not control. And I don't. Know, we could bring back goggles, something, or oh, Capra Carapace, or now nah, we we well. We could still splash for the white. Oh, yes. I'm just seeing it going into pure. Um, yes. I know. Thank you. Removal is removal. Uh, kind of uh, last deck I won my draft was blow red anyway, so uh, very good color combination. I and mean, we have a lot of, you know, the the, the holy word in limited bread bombs removal evasion something something um, bombs kind of um, removal yeah evasion oh yeah so. Um, oh, this draft is going pretty well. Uh, I can see my deck. Um, uh, it's let's see, Crush Peace Rider, the dissection, not that good, sadly. Gas Skimmer is very fine. Um, could also take the Peace Rider. Um, but. Uh, we go the evasion route. Um, we are aggro, so. Shiny, shiny foil. Really like this. I really like this. I don't know why why they pass something like this. Man. Um, yes, due to new Phyrexia, and I guess flavor wise, the Phyrexians they want to craft sort of flesh and. Ooh, Blistic Shix. Oh. Mm. The Fangrim Marauder, see? No one wants him. Uh, we take the Blistic Shaman with the light. Um, a graph like Flash and Art of Metal to Anand with Anandwa and kind of create a hybrid stuff, so that's why there are not that many artifacts in uh, Nephorexia. And overall, if you draft, I mean, compared to Scars of Mirror, then they were like, it was like half of your deck was artifacts always. Now people don't play a lot of artifact artifacts, I mean, because they're not getting provided with as much. I still enter the cores into the core, I mean. If he has a uh, um, drum call engine, into the core, yeah. Titan Forge, lol. That's funny card. Very funny card. Uh, I'm seeing another gas skimmer, but also a spire serpent. Then again, we have two chain throat seekers. Uh, another oh wait, war driver is neat, but well, like the double red is kind of weird. Um. Oh god, get this side. Yeah. We have a lot of artifacts, so... Oh, there's a treasure match. Oh, we can actually... Oh, that's very nice little table. Uh, we can look for the gargoyle, for example. Um, take the ringleader.